The Flat Coder Retriever was originally developed as a dual purpose retriever of game on land and from water, and they're still popular for that purpose today. They also compete in obedience, rally, and agility, and are competent therapy dogs and are ideal companions for people who are looking for an active dog breed. Apartment dwellers should be beware, however, as these pups definitely need room to run and play. Keep up with daily walks to meet this breed's high exercise needs. Although this is a pure red dog, you may still find them in care of shelters or rescue groups, so remember to adopt. At first glance, you might think the flat coated retriever resembles a black or brown golden retriever, but there's no such thing. He's a distinctive breed originally developed as a dual purpose retriever of game on land and from water. His early popularity, which peaked before World War I, was eclipsed by that of the golden and labrador retrievers, but his fans think that's for the best, preferring to keep the secret of this fun loving yet hard working nature to themselves. A male flat coated retriever is typically 23 to 24.5 inches tall at the shoulder, while females typically stand 22 to 23.5 inches tall. The average weight of a flat coated retriever is between 55 to 70 pounds. The flat coated retriever has many desirable qualities. He's smart, friendly, adaptable, and cheerful. He's also mischievous and exuberant with a moderately high energy level. His exercise needs must be met for him to maintain the sweet, calm temperament that he's known for. This is a slow maturing breed, which means it'll act puppy like for several years beyond physical maturity. It's a bit of a ham and it will always make you laugh, even if he's just disobeyed you. The flat coat is sensitive and doesn't respond well to harsh training methods, and he may react by becoming stubborn or simply refusing to do anything you ask until you soothe his hurt feelings. Temperament is affected by a number of factors including heredity, training, and socialization. Puppies with nice temperaments are curious and playful, willing to approach people and be held by them. Choose the middle of the road puppy, not the one who's beating up his litter mace or the one who's hiding in a corner. Always meet at least one of the parents, usually the mother is the one who's available to ensure that they have nice temperaments that you're comfortable with. Meeting siblings or other relatives of the parent is also helpful for evaluating what a puppy will be like when he grows up. Before we continue, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button as it would mean a lot. Thanks. Like every other dog, flat coats need early socialization, exposure to many different people, sights, sounds, and experiences when they're young. Socialization helps ensure that your flat coat puppy grows up to be a well rounded dog. Enrolling him in a puppy kindergarten class is a great start. Inviting visitors over regularly and taking him to busy parks, stores allow dogs, and on leisurely strolls to meet neighbors will also help him polish his social skills. Flat coated retrievers are generally healthy, while a cow breeds are prone to certain health conditions. While not all flat coats will get any or all of these diseases, it's important to be aware of them if you're considering this breed. If you're buying a puppy, find a good breeder who will show you health clearances for both your puppy's parents. Health clearances prove that the dog's been tested for and cleared of a particular condition. The flat coated retriever is the perfect suburban or country dog. He has a moderately high energy level and is best suited to a home where he has many opportunities to run and swim. Expect to exercise him about 90 minutes a day or two 45 minute walks, runs or other vigorous activities such as playing fetch or training for agility or fly ball. Flat coated retrievers make wonderful jogging companions when they are trained properly and have reached full maturity. Remember that jogging on cement or other hard surfaces can damage your dog's joints, so it's best to run on grass or other soft surfaces. Go easy on puppies, they need approximately 5 minutes of exercise for every month of age per day. So for example, if your flat coat puppy is 4 months old, he needs about 20 minutes of daily exercise. How much your dull doggies depends on his size, age, build, metabolism, and activity level. Dogs are individuals, and just like people, they don't all need the same amount of food. It almost goes without saying that a highly active dog will need more than a couch potato dog. The quality of the dog food you buy also makes a huge difference. The better the dog food, the further it will go towards nourishing your dog, and the less of it you need to shake into your dog's bowl. Keep your flat coat in good shape by measuring his food and feeding him twice a day rather than leaving the food out all the time. The flat coat retriever has a straight, moderately long coat that protects him from all types of weather, water, and ground cover. The coat comes in solid black or solid liver, meaning a deep reddish brown color. Flat coat retrievers are relatively easy to maintain and require only weekly brushing unless the dog is shedding. By then, you'll probably want to brush daily to keep the amount of loose hair floating around under control. 
flat coats are great friends for active older children, whether that involves running, swimming, or chasing a ball. They can be overwhelming for toddlers, however, accidentally knocking them over with one whack of their ever wagging tail. As with every other breed, always teach children how to approach and touch dogs and always supervise any interaction between dogs and young children to prevent any biting or ear or tail pulling on part of either party. Teach your child never to approach any dog while he's sleeping or eating or to try to take the dog's food away. No dog, no matter how friendly, should ever be left unsupervised by the child. Flat coats enjoy the company of other dogs and can learn to get along with cats, especially if they're raised with them since puppyhood. They might be a little too fond of pet birds, however, if you know what I mean. Alright guys, what do you think about the flat coat or retriever? Tell me down in the comments.